Okay, guys. Oh, okay, okay. So, apparently, we wanted to see Brewmaster. I don't think anyone actually plays this hero, but it got 260 likes. How? That's like more than any other comment. And yet, isn't Brew one of the least played heroes in Dota? I have no idea what is the logic behind these comments. Like, literally, somehow, the comments that get the most likes are like the least played heroes in Dota. They must have like cult followings, you know what I mean? Otherwise, it makes no sense to me. But hey, we're playing Brewmaster. This hero is viable. And odds are it's going to get a hard buff in the next patch. Reason being is because this hero is essentially untouched. And so it's probably going to get buffed, right? Makes sense. So yeah, I mean, hey, this video is going to help you regardless if this is, you know, two patches behind by the time you're watching this video. It doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how to kill people with brew by the way if you don't know what this video is i'm on a 3k account we're going from all the way from 3k to 4k i'm currently at 3320 we've yet to lose a game you know how it is you guys also tell me what i'm going to be playing by commenting what you want to see next in the comment section down below so continue to do that tell me exactly what hero and what role you want to see me play and if it gets the most likes you'll see it in the next video but remember Talking about likes, like the video and subscribe. No! Oh, I hate this team cup already. Drow Slark. Ugh. Both those heroes are quite mediocre for me to lane against. Definitely don't want to lane against either of them. But frankly, Venno isn't much better. Now looking at items, uh, pro I mean, I could go Radiance, but it's very greedy. I have a Sven, so I, I don't need to go that route. I can probably rely on Sven to carry me. They do have, like, a good amount of kite for Sven, though, so I, I could go greedy. We'll see how the lane goes. If the lane is going well, like, very well, I'll probably lean towards the Radiance just so I can rely on myself. But realistically, I'm going to want to itemize for my Sven. I can go Vlad's. I can go that route, right? The enemy team has quite a bit of right-click damage, so the Vlad's could be good for my Sven. Could go Helm of the Dominator, you know? It's, like, one of those items that I just... I enjoy using personally. I think if you're if you're good with it, it's a valuable item. Also, by the way, for the Game Leap website, do want to let you guys know real quick, real, real, real quick, that you should go check it out. Reason being is I'm creating a lot of content there that I'm very proud of and that I think is a lot more educational, that it has different educational points. This is what I should say, right? It, it kind of just is different content a lot of the time. And so if you're looking for a wider breadth of content and, and just more, then go click the link down below. We post there every day. And it's going to help you guys out a ton, so hope to see you there. Now, in terms of items, I'm actually going to go this build I saw people going in pubs recently. And basically, it's just a trading build. So you buy a Bracer and Tangos. And then after that, you're going to queue up. Actually, sometimes you don't even buy a Quelling Blade. I do want a Quelling Blade at some point, though, just to farm. And in terms of items, you want, like, Stick, Extra Regen, probably a Mango. And so I'm going to queue everything up so I don't have to do it later on. Hmm... Probably not a salve, so I'll queue up two mangoes. Mangoes are very important on brew. It's highly unlikely you'll ever play a laning stage where you don't need either a stick or or quite a few mangoes. So okay, I'm with a Jakiro in lane. That means I can take my Cinder Brew. If you don't know what this spell does, it basically puts it on people, it slows, and if they take any spell damage, including this Q, then uh it ignites and it does damage. But uh, I think this this yeah, okay. It is nice because it's it's only 50 mana, which is cool, but at the same time. Uh, this Q is just a lot more valuable for the attack speed slow, so I'm going to be taking my Thunderclap, especially against Slark. Now, in terms of starting items, I'm going to have to use a lot of Thunderclaps to win this lane. You know, if I don't Thunderclap consistently, <laughs> Thunderclap is cheats, then um, he's just going to auto-attack me to death, and that's not going to it's not gonna work out. So I'll wait, for, I'll wait for the point where I can get two mangoes. Also, the support is a Warlock. Uh, okay, probably Warlock. Oh, Warlock's... I don't know who the position 5 is, but basically... If it's Warlock, I, there's probably a 0% chance I'm going to kill Slark. It's a Drow mid, so I'm probably going to gank mid this game, right? You know, it's just a very easy hero for me to gank. She doesn't have mobility. I can just ulti and, you know, optimally puck cast his spells as well. And we should be chilling from there. But okay, it's a Warlock. So realistically, I'm going to buy the Quelling. Nothing's going to really happen in this lane. So my main goal here is to deny a bunch of creeps. All right. Hopefully I'm going to get like one or two CS in the lane. You know, that's my goal here. One or two CS. Doesn't have to be even be more than that. Range creep tonight. Come on, baby. Pfft. Like, I love how Slark doesn't even try to contest it. He's just like, yeah, man, you can have it. Pfft. Dude. Like, these people gotta... They gotta contest the creep. So I actually want to queue this and then secure this one. All right, or not. I really need this calling. I guess. But all right. Oh, uh, okay. I'm in a bit of a predicament. I need my Jakira to queue here. All right, he actually did it. Wow. I cannot believe that. 
So the reason why I needed him to Q is so I could clap that creep, funny enough, though. So. Oh, whoops. I okay, no, no, no. All right, all right, all right, we're chilling. What? Okay, so I'm going to set up another set of tangos. I'm going to send out one more mango as well. And then I'll probably go for just another bracer. It's not that good of a stick lane. Warlock doesn't cast that many spells. Slark casts basically nothing, so... We'll probably just vibe. All right. I don't know what Jakiro's doing. Is he trying to side pull? What's happening? Oh, dang, they're double denying. All right, wave's pushing into me. I can chill. Nice little side pull. All right, we're vibing. We're vibing. Not going to contest this creep, right? Too many creeps. Don't want to get pounced on just in case he took pounce. I'll play it safe. And I'm going to static... Uh, do I want to static the wave? Nah, I'm not going to static it. It's too many creeps. I don't want to tank that much damage. I could run it all the way around, but... Nah, I'm not feeling it. All right, we should be able to get all these CS realistically. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> all right, this one's free, though. Yeah, yeah. All right, I mean, hey, uh, I'm fine with Jakiro side pulling there. Uh, that, that, that seems fine. Um, the only thing is, okay, Warlock pulled. He denied one of the creeps. All right, nothing in the world. Hopefully my Jakiro can side pull again. Let me do that. I'm going to clap this creep. Just play it safe. Maybe a range creep deny here. Slark isn't paying attention. I can kind of tell he's just not paying attention to it. So a creep aggro of this creep, so it comes back. Uh, no. Okay. And we'll pick up another bracer. After the bracer, I'm probably going to go Bassy. Actually, I'm going to go Bassy right away. It's going to build into my Vlads. And as I said, I don't really want to trade with Slark. I want to more so just like play around him. So this Bassy is going to be very useful. I'll also pick up a Clarity. I'll probably, I'll be able to use it at some point, I'm sure. If my Jakiro can get the lane back. All right, this is a triple clap. I'll just use this to push in the wave. I can even hit the Slark here twice. But as I said, my goal is not really to harass the Slark. He has a Warlock. It's just it's just not going to work, you know? I want this guy to Clarity me. I could say it, but eh, whatever. Clarity me? Can you Clarity me? It's really... I mean, ooh, he did it! Thank you. I had my own coming, but I just wanted to get the value as soon as possible. All right, I really need to prep these melee creeps, apparently. <laughs> I might not buy the second bracer and just go straight into boots. Ooh, voice crack. Uh, the reason for that is because, as I said, I don't want to fight this guy too much. Bracer is really good if you're, like, hard fighting. You can go on Warlock. Alright, <laughs> looks like our, our bottom lane is getting hard clap. That's always a good sign. I don't know what Slark is doing. Apparently he's fighting my Jakiro by the rune. I'm going to go on this Warlock. I don't know, I just don't want him to lane. Slark is back, though, so I gotta chill a bit. Seems like a good trade, actually. I have a huge wave here. Even though he's starting to build up some essence. A good trade. Alright, well. That's a bummer. My hero has killed himself. It is what it is. We will continue to see us. Ooh, Slark got salved. Uh -oh. I actually can't go for this range creep. What? How does he let me do that? How did he hit me twice there? Okay. I guess now's the time to pop my clarities. Seemingly shoving in the wave. Oh, I should have contested the bounties. Uh oh. Ooh! Creep aggro CS to avoid getting my clarity cancelled. No! <laughs> this guy is no. Alright, much Kiro's like roaming. I don't know. Alright, you're getting denied, boy. <laughs> All right, yeah, I mean, honestly, I got counterpicked, like, Warlark Slark. I mean, it doesn't get more lame. Like, Brew's a hero that can win lane, but not against this. Like, because Slark can purge my W, and... I mean, you might be saying, but speed, then why don't you take your E? Because I, you basically want to have your other spells for different uh, for the different portions of the game, but, like, he's just going to Q and purge all this. Unless he didn't take it. What? Wh what? What? How are people... Is this guy that bad? How does he not have his Q against Jakiro Brew? It's the most purgeable lane in Dota. Jeez. All right. Well, now we have a cart wave pushing in. This is good. Dive this guy. Dive this guy. The reason why I want to dive this guy is to protect the cart. We are a bit under the tower here, so I'm going to have to run away. I actually might have killed myself. I think we're all right. I'm pretty fast. Got the boots. Nice. Ice bath. I'm going to wait for my Fatal Bond to run out. Actually, no, there's nothing connected. This Slark is kind of... All right, no, Majikiro Slay is DPing out. All right, we're chilling. I could go Tranquils this game and, like, roam, but... Nah, I want to... Whoa. Yeah, all right. Um, 
Slark could see me there because Slark has amplified night vision. Like that hero just naturally has more night vision, so I had to be careful. But all right, we're gonna get a really nice level six timing. We actually might be able to kill the Slark with this because he's he's gonna hit six later. So there's definitely a kill potential. We got the three mangoes, so we'll have plenty of mana. And I'm gonna buy a wand after this uh, tread, so I just want to get more kill potential first. Okay, whoa, the side lanes are back. We were 0-4, now it's 5-5. to Hey, that's great. Let's try to kill this Slark. I, I vote that we should kill him. So for this, you kind of want to start with the boulder and then you hit them with the wind walk. Oh, nice, we're going to get a double kill. You you have to constantly use this wind walk thing because it amplifies the damage. So I'll quickly go over them. This guy throws boulders. This guy amps damage, throws people in the air. He also has a debuff, which kills illusions. I'll go over it in the future. But basically, your green guy throws boulders. The white one goes invis, gains movement speed, and does extra damage when he attacks out of invis. And then the, the red one... Uh, the fire one does uh, does burn damage in an AoE, so you want to keep the, the fire one constantly auto-attacking. That's the main things you need to know. The blue one also has a purge. He can purge haze, purge DDs, purge bloodlust, purge in power. My Jakira was saying something to me, but I did not hear it. Is this guy going to use his purge? All right. <laughs> I was going to say, we're not supposed to be able to kill that guy unless he... Alright, we got our wand coming. The reason why you go wand on brew is pretty straightforward. I also could have went bottle, I actually forgot. A lot of people go bottle on brew. I might just go um, soul ring at this point. I feel like it's a bit late for bottle, but... We're just going to keep our CS up high. A, a big mistake people make on heroes like brew that when they're winning lane is they just stop last hitting because they're feeling good. Really bad to do that. I'm probably not gonna go Vlad, so I don't think it's I don't think it's the play. I'm actually gonna go Blink. They have a lot of like they have a lot of squishy heroes I can just jump mid-game. And I have like this puck that I can play around, so I actually want to zone Slark completely out of XP range. He's not six yet. Ugh, he's gonna be six now. I'm just about to hit six. I wanted I wanna zone him from six. So I'm trying to get as many denies as possible so I can maybe get another kill on him. I also can consider rotating, maybe. If I see the draw, how's Drow doing? She's 0 1? Okay. I'm going to pick up a smoke so I can gank the drow later on. This is like me just trying to make a heads up play. Kind of read the game. I'm going to push this lane in and look to roam with my ulti. I'll just let my Jakiro farm up here. You can farm. Hopefully it doesn't come with me. I'm just, I was just clicking smoke. Where is the drow? Oh, she's right here. Hopefully she doesn't have gust. Once again, boulder, E... Continue auto-attacking with all of them. Then your boulder comes up again. The boulder. You E. The Slark comes in, tries to save her. He ulti is extremely early. I'm diving this guy. You know we're diving. Never, never mind, he bounced. <laughs> you know we're not diving. Whoa, there's a... Turn around, turn around. So you do a lot of damage with this max Cinder Brew Q build, which is why it's nice. It's like, it's a lot of magical damage, so it's much better than the E. The E, it kind of takes items that come online, where th this build is much better for early fighting, so that's why I prefer it. It's also good for wave clear as well. Wants to take the tower with the liquid fire. That seems pretty reasonable. My cart died though. All right, the game's going well. Now, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for my ultimate. When my ultimate comes up, I will look to make another play, probably on the Drow, to be honest. That's the hero I'm most scared of. The Slark was shut down. Looks like Venno is doing okay. He's not doing bad. But I definitely want to consider trying to shut down this Drow again. Not again. Oh yeah, again. I don't know what I'm saying. Alright. We might be able to get the tower here. Oh my god, he is maxing his E. That is so bad. For anyone who plays Chichiro, guys, this spell doubles in damage. This one just scales like utter dog. Like, it's such bad scaling. This is... And I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to flame this guy, I'm just saying it as like a tip. I don't know why people do that still. I, I thought that's been outdated for like a year. Alright, this is a really good blink timing. Also, shovel. Don't mind if I do, and then we're gonna pick up some clarities so we can spam our spells for farming. All right, preemptive clarities are always good. As we missed CS. I'm actually gonna deny these creeps. I'm not pushing the tower. Then I have some gold. Farm the small camp, it's not there. My ulti is coming up again soon. I don't see their supports, but usually people don't gank top in this bracket. Like, they don't like to gank the offlaner. People just hate it <laughs> until you're, like, at their tier 2. Alright. This fight looks over already. People might TP in, though. Nah, I'm chilling. I'm actually... So, see, I don't see the draw of the Slark. I'm gonna assume they're farming, and I'm gonna run at them. So, I'm gonna get more value. There's the Slark. I can run at him if I want. 
And now I'll just shut down his farm and he can't hit any creeps. <laughs> Make him feel bad. Nice, a bounty rune. So he's gonna run to the creep wave, I'm gonna run to the creep wave. <laughs> uh, so now I do have to be afraid of getting ganked because basically once you make a couple of aggressive plays people are like oh we can gank this guy he's going psycho mode so what you do is you kind of like you go aggressive for a bit and then you chill so like I'm gonna assume they're running at me I don't see them bottom yet I see Venno but Venno is not too I'm not sold that Venno makes me safe I do have ulti though it's very highly unlikely they actually burst me so I'll go on this guy again honestly there's no point in me using my W because he'll just purge it or not so yeah, this guy can go on me, but I'm so tanky. I also took the health talent, so... Look, now I'm forcing rotations, and my Sven is gonna farm. And if they run at me, I frankly, like... I, I probably can just kill them, honestly. I just have to go on, like, the Warlock. Where are they? What are they doing? Are they gonna run at me or not? No one's farming... How do they have three heroes top, no one's farming top, and they're not making a play? No Slark? Alright, this is actually a mediocre trade. I'll probably ulti to get out. <laughs> Look the drowsy being in. I'm just gonna walk out the back. <laughs> ah! Alright, I'm ultiing to get out, don't care. So, how this thing works is you can send in the other two and then run the green one out because it spawns on the green one. Also, I can perch. Oh no, I can't perch. Yeah, you spawn over here, so. <laughs> like this lark almost died. Oh, my puck is sickle mode right now. This is a good blink in though. Nice two-man clap. Slark should be dead. Yep, because he had an ulti. Continue to click this guy down. Sure, I'm going to shift onto the drow. Might be able to get a cinder brew here. Nice. If they take spell damage, they should be dead. Oh, I got to TP out. Oh, I'm dead. That was a lot of damage. Okay, we went too far. Yeah, brew. I think the biggest problem with brew, I'd say, is like, he, he sometimes feels a little bit weak without his ulti, but to be fair, it's still good space, but it, we did go a little bit too far. I'm thinking I should go pipe here. I definitely could go to the Radiance, but my Sven is farming well. You know, I do have confidence for him to carry, but their Drow is pretty farmed as well. The Puck solo kill. All right, do I go Lotus? I'm thinking I just go Lotus and like purge the Silences. I'm gonna go Lotus. It's the safest item here. It allows me to purge Gale, reflect the Ogre stuff. Purge Fatal Bonds. Could also go Yules to kite out like the Slark Pounce. But, you know, I, I even need to Purge Gust if that happens. So I'm going to go I'm gonna go Lotus. I'm going to go Utility this game. Usually I don't like going Utility, but I'm going to go that route this game. I kind of want to run at them, but like, what is my Dazzle doing? Why is he... Can you come here? Why is he jungling? Hello? <laughs> oh my god, what a panic ulti. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's no way I can kill that guy. Oh, God. Alright, I kind of have to chill. I don't really see anything. I feel I don't feel too scared. You know, I have these two supports behind me. I kind of want to fight this, not going to lie. Oh, God, did I miss the drop of that? And I, mean, I guess I'll just have to ulti. Alright, let's get out. That's fine. Well, that kind of sucked. I could just purge all of this stuff. Oh, my Sven is in. Okay. Might need to help him. I can go in. So the thing about Brew is you can go in even if you're like 200 HP because you just ulti. You know. I could also shovel up a salve real quick. Or a heal. <laughs> That's exactly what I meant. I didn't mean a salve. I meant a teleport scroll. Alright, my team is really in here. I'm just going to push in the wave because I'm a little bit too low. Hopefully the drought didn't like wrap behind and is going to come pounce on me now. That would be mildly unfortunate. What does Shakiro say? <laughs> he sounded mad. <laughs> so yeah, th this build is really nice for farming as well. As you can see, you can clear up the camps very effectively. Very efficient. Pick up my Perseverance as well. Pop a Clarity. Apparently my Sven wants to farm top, so I'll stack Ancients for him. If I can get there in time. Oh, I cancelled it. No! Still might get it though. Hopefully he farms that. In the meantime... Alright, right, he saw it. That's good. That's good that he saw it. Ooh, Dragon Scale, nice. I'll use my shovel, then I'll send it back. Nice, Dragon Scale is great. My, you know, funny thing about Brew is you're actually a pretty low armor hero. Obviously, I'm buying Lotus, so I'll get a little bit of armor, but until then, my my hero's actually a bit low on armor, so this will be nice. 
And yeah, I mean, I'm fine with this pace of the game. I, I feel like once Sven gets BKB, he should just be able to just plow them down. So I'm okay with vibing. We do need some wards. Honestly, I'm going to start buying them. Our wards are just so defensive. I, I Okay, there we go. There's one deep ward. That ward gets dewarded a lot, to be honest. I feel like it's so common, but you know, not, it's fine. All right. Maybe can TP bottom here. Nah, okay, he's already dead. I want to try to go on this guy, but he's actually kind of tanky. Uh, it, like, my ulti might end before I can even kill him, really. So, what does Drow have? Can you guys come here? I want to go on this Drow. I'm going in. Where is she? I think this is warded. I think this is warded. Alright, our Sven is right. I'm not going to ulti for this guy. For obvious reasons. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. So what I want to do here is I want to throw her in the air so my team can follow up. Oh, look at his combo from the boys! Yes! I can't believe he actually pre-ice path. That's insane. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the green one out. I'm going to actually put this Slark in the air. And we'll reset the fight from there. Oh, uh, my Sven's getting fighted hard. I'm just going to go in to try to save him. Where is my puck? I shouldn't have taken that bounty, but... My puck took the whole game to show up to that, but it is what it is. Put the W on the Venno, that should get him killed. Realistically. I can go in here. My blink's getting cancelled. It's so hard to blink against this team. Oh! That guy's dead. No, puck, don't go in! No, you psycho! <laughs> You're gonna die! Well, I'm gonna die! <laughs> oh, regen rune. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, drought. Relax. No! Oh! <laughs> My regen rune has been saved. Alright, we're close to our lotus. As you can see, it would be definitely very valuable. It's been quite the pain in the boot talks to deal with the amount of slows and tick damage they have. But we should be able to deal with that. Is this thing not going to die to that? Okay. I could go Vlad's after. Honestly, it's not bad just to amp up my Sven. You know? Oh, okay. I have enough for my Lotus. Very nice. And yeah, I mean, I think realistically what I want to go is like Pipe Vlad's or Vlad's Pipe. One of those two. Definitely one of those two. For my next talent, I'm probably not going to go the slow. I'm going to go the magic resist just so I don't get bursted. All right. I'm going to split push just for a little bit here. I see the enemy team is basically all bottom, so... I'll just shove in a couple waves while I can. All right. My team is going in very deep here, and I expect them to chase, so I'm going to TP in. Yeah, my Sven is in. You could kind of tell by the way he was posturing that he planned on going in, so... I'm going to try to get onto this Drow here. I did commit my Blink, which makes it a bit hard to initiate. I just was afraid they were going to chase, so I want to get there early, but... Hopefully my Blink will come up. Now, my God Strength... So I do have to keep in mind how long God Strength is going to last for. I'm going to go in. I'm going in. Oh, I'm getting Plague Warded. Alright, they're getting Sven right now. Alright, they don't want to dive, that's fine. We do not have to dive! I will simply siege. Also, the green one does extra bonus tower damage, so it's really good against towers. Too bad there's backdoor right now. Alright, I didn't really do much there. The fight was kind of over by the time I got there. But it is what it is. Can't play every fight perfect. Also, that Plague Ward griefed my blink. Slark's actually going on this guy. NA map awareness by Slark. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. This War Anthony guy, dude. I don't know. Is he actually Legend 5? If he is, well, I wish him the best, but he needs to work on his game sense. I'm not diving that. That's what we call a bad idea. They'll never expect the brew to put down the ward. It's actually not a good push. We have no god strength. We have no god strength. We should wait. All right, puck is just puck is just in. We have no god strength, no brew ulti. Obviously, oh, we have no Jakira ulti. Best time to initiate. All right, we have no ultis, guys. We have no spells. I'm gonna put a word on the hill. All right. Yeah. So you can see there, pucks make like. It's one of the most common mistakes in Dota. People have a hard time keeping track of their teammates' spells. Like, it's easy to keep track of your own, but you gotta keep track of your teammates. 
Oh, my hurricane rune. <laughs> but yeah, you know, like him initiating there when we have three ultimates on cooldown is a bad idea. Honestly, to push that point even further, I should have been backing, you know? I, I shouldn't even be even close. I actually should have Lotus to spend here. I kind of thought the Ogre was going to stun me there, but whatever. She's dead. And now, Drow kind of made the same mistake, but on the opposite end, which is... The mistake that the Drow made was she went in. I'm actually going to Lotus or my Dazzle. I'm going to ulti just so I don't get gusted here. I'm going to put... I'm actually silenced on the, the my uh, Wind Panda right now. I'm gonna put the drow in okay, I can't put the drow in the air. I actually have to make sure this thing doesn't die. We do have another hurl boulder for the drow. I'll just auto attack her. She shouldn't be able to kill my uh, earth panda. We might be able to get one more no, okay. I was gonna say maybe we could get one more hurl, hurl boulder off, but that was not the case. But alright, another great fight for the boys. And Warlock is the only one alive remaining. We'll pick up our Vlads while we're at it. And that is all. Another clean fight. Dazzle puts GG question mark in the chat. That's right, Dr. Spicy Pepper Q-Pad. I don't know what a Q-Pad is. But that's right, it's probably GG. We are very strong at this point in the game. <laughs> Looks like we were going to run into pie ground. We don't have any spells, so this is realistically suicide. But you know in pubs, if you don't run a pie ground, you're actually a wussy, right? You deserve to lose, so it's very important, even if you know it's likely going to kill your entire team, that you run up the high ground. My puck is in. He did not jaunt out. I don't know why, but he ain't jaunted. I'm going to Lotus my Sven here. The Ogre's going to stun him. There you go. Got that off. This looks like kind of trash, but at least everything's getting reflected. Like, look, we got a Fatal Bonds. We got a Ogre Spells on him. <laughs> Like, that guy was actually dying to Fatal Bonds. I'm going to try to Lotus my Sven again here to save him. I'll go in as well. I'm going to ulti here. I'm going to put the Drow in the air. All right, it's always important to know who you want to put in the air before the fight. I'm trying to do some damage to the to the Slark. Oh my god, he's dead. Bro Boulder. This time I'm not going to put the Drow up. Oh, I can actually purge the Glimmer, I believe. Yeah, so you can purge Glimmer, interestingly enough. I'll put her up. I'll run away. Oh, wrong one. NA micro. You think I'm not finishing this Rax? I'm in! Yes! Lotus him up. Yeah, so Lotus, I think it ended up being a good purchase here. Being able to reflect all of their spells and purge them from the Sven is, is incredibly useful. I think it definitely saved them that fight. On top of that, you know, Fatal Bonds against Sven is pretty brutal because he's just gonna, he's gonna tank a lot of damage, so he's gonna reflect a lot of damage as well. I'll go for the Quickening Charm. My da dude, this Dazzle loves to farm. <laughs> he is just a farming king. Oh, they smoked. Alright, it's not a good fight. We don't have any spells, but... Naturally, I'm gonna stay here just because I like to be risque. Alright, yeah. So, right now, with uh, everything on cooldown, we should just go hit some creeps, right? It's it's really good to do this. Um, just, we have no spells. Can we just wait for my ulti? Oh, repair kit. This item makes me mad thinking. And it's always good when you're telling people to do things to give them a reason. I've said this in other videos before, but it's like a big motto of mine. You know, if you're going to give commands, it's really important to give like a why. It doesn't have to be anything complex. You just have to say like, fuck up a bottle. Um, it doesn't have to be anything complex. It just has to be like, hey, you know, I, I want to go Roche because it's hard to go high ground. You know, like that type of thing. And it, it really changes your, your team's mentality around your calls. It doesn't feel like you're just trying to demand them. To do things, it kind of makes them feel like you're looking out for them, which I think is a cool, you know, a cool um, way to put it. Yeah, he wants the Roche. I'm cool with that. Give him the Vlads. Kind of a slow Roche, but we'll do it eventually. For my final item, I'm going to go Solar, and I'm just going to put it on this Sven. I'm just going to make sure this guy pops off. You know, anytime your, your carry's having a good game, it's very reasonable to build around them. And, you know, he's been playing not perfect, but quite well, so I 100% trust him to do what we need to do. She just coiled that guy, but whatever. 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 Free courier. It's what we call increasing your team's net worth. In terms of talents, I'm gonna I'm probably just gonna take the health to primal split units. Usually you go attack speed in the other one, 
But I feel like this game, I'm not really right-clicking. I'd rather just keep my units alive. All right, we're going in. I'm actually just going to ult the early here. I'm going to put the Drow in the air just to prevent her from doing anything this team fight. Oh, I actually threw her down immediately. Whoops, that was a mistake. Do some damage. We'll have a Hurl Boulder in a second for Venno. Or for Ogre, I suppose. Use another Invis damage source. And I'm just switching through my units by using my next unit key, for anyone who's wondering. Clap. Look at this movement speed slow. <laughs> he's at 100. Uh-oh. He's Invis. He's definitely hunting Magic Hero. There's no way he's not. <laughs> it's a typical Slark player. He's going to try to kill him. La Cas Mo Idol. I don't know what that means, but... <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Alright, and looks like that's going to be all for today's video. Poor Slark was completely useless. Yep. The funny thing is he even had a, a free lane. Well, a, he was supposed to have a free lane. He didn't really pressure me much at all. Him and the Warlock, like... Basically, the goal for Warlock Slark in a lane like that should be to just trade a lot, you know, because Slark trades effectively with me. But he didn't take his Q for some unknown reason. So he didn't take his Q, and then on top of that, he didn't hit me. Like, the Warlock should be healing him a lot in that lane, right? That's the advantage. The, the only Slark problem in lane for, you know, for Slark is his inability to sustain, right? But, um, look at this, no attack speed. Uh, but the thing is, like, he doesn't have that sustain issue with the Warlock, so he should be going ham, you know? But I guess people just don't really understand that, so they don't take advantage of it. And so he did not punish me nearly as hard as he could have, which kind of threw his lane, to be honest. Also, by the way, guys, I just want to let you know I'm about to record uh, for everyone watching to the end. By the way, you're the GOATS. For everyone who watches this long, I appreciate you all. Most people don't, so it means you're dedicated and you enjoy the content. So I hope you continue to enjoy the content as we go in here. I will once again go on the Drow. I'm just trying to ruin her game as much as humanly possible. I'm actually going to throw her in the air. Maybe my team can come follow it up. Team! Alright, we're just taking the racks, I guess. Oh, my Sven's actually dying. Okay. <laughs> How did that happen? But what I was saying about the Game Leap website is that um, currently I'm doing website guess the rank. So I'm actually doing guess the rank for website premium members so if you guys are a website premium member or you want to become one go sign up right if you aren't already but if you are one dm me on discord with your guest the rank submission and you'll be in the, the first ever episode i currently have four people four people i might have missed someone i think someone gave me a replay but i forgot to take it in um so if that happens and it was you <laughs> Just let me know, but I'm super pumped for that. It's going to be a good time. I'm going to hopefully give you guys a ton of tips. It's basically free coaching. Not free, okay, because you're paying for a Game Leap sub. But right, it's like, what, an $8 coaching session and you get thousands of videos. I think that's, you know, super good value, which is what we're always trying to provide here on this YouTube channel and, of course, on the website as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed that episode of Smurfing the 4K with Brewmaster. That was kind of a free game compared to the other ones. That was much easier than that Invoker game. But if you enjoyed, smash the like button and subscribe. Comment down below who you want to see next, and peace. But yeah, that's going to be about all, folks. Remember, click the link down below and subscribe to the Game Leap website where we have thousands of videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.